Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What it do, gang? We live. We back, man. Welcome, welcome back to the Golden Goose DFS show. It's me, your host, Chandler Blakely, a.k.a. Goose. And y'all know why I'm here. It's another edition, playoff edition of this starting five for DraftKings and FanDuel. So we're going to get right into it, man. Listen, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. You won't be sorry, man. It's the best kept secret in daily fantasy sports. Also, do me one small favor, man. Everybody out there, hit that like button for your boy, man. Let's see if we can get this video to 100 likes. The views is up, but the likes ain't there. Let's get this video to 100 likes, man, all right? Do that one small favor for your boy, please, and thank you, all right? Let's talk about it, man. Uh, last night was a uh, rough one. The, uh, the tail of my night ended up being just too much Sabonis, man. I, I, I went all in on Sabonis. I had a lot of Sabonis, a lot of curry. A lot of Westbrook. Sabonis was okay. The problem was you could have saved like $4,000 and got that performance from Looney. So just just having so much Sabonis, I, I wasn't able to build some of the top lineups because I was so heavy on Sabonis. Needed more Looney. Uh, but this is my best lineup, $329. You know, it's $1.20 max. Uh, 35% Steph Curry, 56 fantasy points, solid for him. If you saw yesterday's video, you know I was on Steph and just those Warriors guys in general. Uh, the Kawhi news definitely changed that, though. That wouldn't enable me to get Sabonis. So if you saw the video yesterday, you know I was Curry, Wiggins, Looney. I was heavy on these Warriors guys. But once we got that news, Kawhi was out. It opened so much value up for me. I went away from Looney. Uh, and got to a lot of Sabonis. Like I said, they ended up being my downfall. But uh, Steph was solid. Melton, 6.5%. I thought I thought I was going to hit gold right here, especially when Harden got ejected. I was like, oh, man. I thought we could got a big performance out of him. But he was solid, uh, 4,100. Went to Harrison Barnes, 5,100. Price tag just keeps falling on him in Minnesota. He didn't uh, give us quite the performance we needed, 20 fantasy points. Wiggins was okay at 35 Looney smashed at 43, uh, 27% on with 43 fantasy points. Westbrook, I would just, I told the gang yesterday, man, just give me all of the Westbrook. I had plenty of Westbrook yesterday. Just because I, I knew he was going to try to lead the team to victory. I knew he was going to do everything in his power. It, with no uh, no Kawhi and no Paul George, I knew he, this was his moment to shine. If he could have led them to victory last night, oh, man, he'd have went crazy. But had plenty of Westbrook, 38% on. He gave you 66 fantasy points. Norman Powell, 61% on. He was just too cheap, especially once he got in the starting lineup. 56 for him. And then DeAndre Ayton, man, 18% on. Only got 28 fantasy points on him. A little small double-double for them. All right? FanDuel, similar story, man. I just got to so much so bonus, man. That once we got that perceived uh, Clippers value, I was just I really had like Steph and Sabonis like run backs. I was just heavier in that game and didn't quite end up being the shootout we thought it would be. So, uh, but Steph over here forty nine percent, fifty five fantasy points. Spencer Dinwiddie. Gave us 37. Got some Jordan Poole in here as he was cheaper over here. So, and he was a lower ownership. So uh, 36 fantasy points for him was solid. I had Melton again. Melton was, was like my little sneaky play yesterday, man. I don't know what it was about Melton, but I ended up getting him in a couple of spots yesterday. Like I said, it almost worked out for me. Um, Norman Powell, 55% on, of course, 51 fantasy points. Got to some Kevin Herter here, 26 fantasy points. Kevin Durant. <clears throat> Was solid, but Booker was the play, man. Booker just went lights out once again. Uh, 42 fantasy points from him. Wiggins, 34 fantasy points. And then Looney down here, 42 fantasy points. So, like I said, pretty rough night over here. Nothing to write home about. Uh, lost most of my buy-in on both sites. But we're going to jump back to it today, man. Another three-game slate. Got the starting five pulled up for you. And that point guard, we want to look at Jalen Brunson, 7,600, going against the Cleveland Cavs here. He had just been very solid over the uh, last first couple of games in this series. Didn't shoot the ball that well last game. I think that gets corrected here at home. They'll be energized, the home crowd. I like Jalen Brunson here. I like some Randall as well if you want to go that route. But I'm expecting Jalen Brunson to shoot better at home and come out and lead this uh, Knicks team to a much better performance. I don't know if they win. This is one of the better series. It's, every game is a, is a coin toss. But I like Jalen Brunson, 7,600, 7, coming back home to the guard. I think he puts on a nice shooting performance for the home crowd here. I'm going to have plenty of Brunson tonight. 
at the shooting guard. I'm gonna go to Derek White, 6100. The the price is slowly creeping up on him, but he just been playing so well over the first uh, couple of games in this series. He's been very solid, man. 6100. I think you can go to him here. As Atlanta's gonna come out gunning. Atlanta, Minnesota, they're coming out gunning. This is a must-win situation for both of these teams. The both games at home, so feel free to look to Minnesota, look to Atlanta. I like Derek Wright, though, 6,100 right here on the run back going against the Atlanta Hawks. At the small four, I'm going to go to DeAndre Hunter. We are struggling to find value today. Uh, yesterday, we had plenty of it. It's rough out here today, especially on fan. Fan duel price is so tight, man. Uh, but 4,600, man, I don't mind going to a guy who can get 30-plus minutes if he's playing well. I think he saw 38 last game. But they typically keep him at about 30 to 32. But like I said, if he's playing well like he did last time, he can easily see over that as he got the 38 minutes. So I don't mind going back to DeAndre Hunter right here, 4,600. Hopefully the home crowd energizes him as well and he can continue his good performance that he had last game. All right? But I'm definitely getting some DeAndre Hunter early little value piece right here. Hopefully we don't get any other crazy news, man. This is the most injury-prone playoffs I done seen in my in my years of playing DFS, man. Normally, you get to the playoffs, you ain't got no injuries to worry about. You just going. But this this one is, yes, that Kawhi was shocking yesterday. So we'll see, man. But we don't get any news. I'm staying 100 at 4,600. At the Power Four, I'm going to go back to Carl Anthony Towns. 7,500, I like the price tag. You've seen the thumbnail. Give me Cat. I know he struggled over the first two games. Just has not shot the ball well. Maybe or Aaron Gordon's defense bothered him a little bit. But coming back home here, man, I'm going to go to Towns. I expect him to get it going. They need him to play better if they want to have any chance of winning this game. We saw Ant-Man light it up last time. They need Carl Anthony Towns to join the party if they want to win against this Denver Nuggets team. I think he gets him more involved here in this game, shoots a little better. I think he comes out looking to be aggressive, looking to score more. I know If I know he has to uh, – Join the party. I know he knows he has to join the party. So, give me some call Anthony Towns, 7,500. Don't mind going to him. And at center spot, I'm just going to continue to play Jared Allen. They moved his price like $100. He's just been playing solid. Double-double threat when he walks in the gym. He can get you a couple blocks. And uh, I'm just going to continue to get to Jared Allen. The minutes are there, 6,700, like I said. Going against the Knicks here, give me Jared Allen, all right? There you have it, your starting five for DraftKings, Jalen Brunson, Derek White, DeAndre Hunter, Carl Anthony Towns, and Jared Allen. Get you some exposure to these guys, get them in your player pools. They for sure going to be in mind, all right? Let's go look at FanDuel and see what I'm feeling over there. Come in at FanDuel at the top. I want to look at Darius Garland. Come to the other side of this Knicks Cavs game. 7800 I like the price tag over here on FanDuel. We saw him getting a... Um, I said last game when I took him, he had that nice game at 46. I said he had to get more involved and orchestrate more of the offense. We saw him do that. I think he continues to do that here, man. Is they going to take a, a joint effort from him and Donovan Mitchell? So I don't mind going back to Darius Garden right here at 7,800 playing in the garden against the Knicks. Come in at shooting guard. Man, I told you their pricing is so crazy over here on FanDuel, man. I'm going to go to Brogdon, 5,800. He is the best guy, but if he comes in, he, he should see 25 to 30 minutes depending on how he's playing and what they need for the moment. I'm just hoping he can have it going in the time that he's out there. He he he, he leads the bench mob for these Boston Celtics, so when he comes in off the bench, he's looking to be the main scorer with that second unit anytime there's no Tatum or, or Brown on the court. And if one of them's on the court, he's like the number two uh, offensive option behind those guys. So I like getting the Mark and Brogdon right here at 5,800. Come in at small forward. Won't look at DeAndre Hunter, 5K, man. Just staying with him. Just really hunting for value, man. You're going to really be hunting for value, and you're going to have to take roll the dice on some guys. Hunter, maybe go back to Bogdanovich, even though he's $1,000 more expensive. You got to look for that value today, and I'm trying it with DeAndre Hunter. At the power forward, I want to go to Evan Mobley. He's the one that's going to have to get involved a little bit more for these Cleveland Cavs. He can be the difference in this series. We know Allen's not really an offensive guy. He's a defensive guy, rebound, that's what he does. Garland can score the ball and dish it. Mitchell can score the ball and dish it. They need Mobley to join the party, man. If Mobley joins the party and is more efficient scoring the ball, 
they can they can handle the Knicks pretty easily in this series. The problem is Mobley hasn't joined the party. First game it was Mitchell. Last game it was Garland and Mitchell. If we can get Mobley to join this party, I like him over here. He's priced cheaper than uh, Jared Allen. I just expect him to get involved. He's a double-double threat, a block upside threat as well. I know Garden Randall probably is taking away from his offensive end, but he's got to find a way to assert himself offensively, man. I, I, I'm going to take some chances on Evan Mobley right here at 7,500. And then come in the center spot. Stay with your thumbnail. Call Anthony Towns. 8,400. Listen, I'm going to hang my hat on him, man. If he fails tonight, it might be a rough one for me, man. This playoffs, you got to pick your spots. You got to pick your spots because – trying to cast a wide net is maybe you'll get one through maybe you won't but i i like the i'm i'm the type of guy you know the motto man i like to take stands on people and i think it's gonna be carl anthony towns tonight it may change it may but right now it's looking like carl anthony towns all right there you have it man you're starting five for fan duel towns mobley hunter brogdon and darius garland get you some exposure to these guys get them in your player pool they for sure gonna be in mind all right that's going to do it for us here today, man. Y'all know the motto. Chances make champions. Y'all green up. i see y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's get it.